everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to be doing another pretty little thing haul again so I haven't done a pretty little thing haul on this channel in a little while and they have a whole heap of cute new pieces and collabs up on their website at the moment so I wanted to show you guys a few things that I'm feeling that I wanted to pick up I have quite a few like current trends in this video that I want to talk about and show you guys so I'm super excited to do this and let's just get right into it. I also did want to quickly mention that Pretty Little Thing did send me these items for free to show you guys, but as per usual, all of my opinions are my own and yeah, let's just get into it. I have a massive pile of clothes down here on the floor, so I'm just going to start picking things up and showing you and then we'll cut away to the try-on clips of the items as well. I will have to film the try-on clips on my either my phone or my Canon G7X just because this lens on this camera isn't wide enough to like fit a full body shot in, so the quality for the try-on clips will be a little bit worse, but I hope you will forgive me because I want to show you guys obviously what everything looks like on the bot. So first things first, it's a little bit random, but we have a reflective bucket hat. <laughs> it looks so funny. So I'm sure you guys know that the whole like reflective trend is a massive thing at the moment. So I decided to pick up a bucket hat. It's reflecting on the screen at the moment because of my ring light, but in person it's like a medium gray color, kind of about the same color as this top, but when obviously light shines on it or you take like a flash photography, it lights up like so. It's like a plasticky fabric material if you wanted to know and it's basically like those reflective strips that are on like workers uniforms. I think it's pretty cute, pretty fun. I kind of like this trend because I like anything that kind of like shines and stuff. I don't know when I'm gonna wear this bucket hat to be honest but I thought it was cute so I picked it up. We have another reflective piece coming as well so make sure you stay tuned to see what that is. It's like at the bottom of the pile so it's probably gonna be last. Next up we have this neon pink bodysuit with a kind of roll neck, turtleneck type thing. It's just a cotton material, it's basically like t-shirt material and I'm obsessed with neon. I think it's so fun and I didn't have anything neon pink so I picked this one up. It's like a form fitting type top so it's not like a jumper or anything, it's more like a turtleneck t-shirt, I don't know if that makes any sense. And it's a really super bright neon pink, which I am a big fan of. Also, the neck is like high, so you can kind of like roll it down as much as you want. You can either roll it down or you can kind of like scrunch it down. It just depends on your preference. And the bodysuit just has a snap closure at the bottom. So next up, we have this top, which you're not going to be able to tell what the hell it is till I try it on or include the picture of the model up here. But it's basically like a bandeau that has these straps that you can kind of like tie up any way that you want to kind of like customize the top. I just thought this was really cute and it would go with a lot of things that I already have like shorts, skirts, stuff like that. As kind of like a basic that's a little bit more interesting than just like a tank top or a t-shirt or something like that. Also as I'm talking about these things I haven't actually tried them on yet. If I have any like revisions to what I said I'm going to like include them as like little comments afterwards. So next up we have this super cute little like zip up mini dress like it's kind of like a utility type dress i thought this was adorable it really reminded me of the 60s um but i think this dress is adorable it's quite a form fitting looking dress and obviously the zip is adjustable so you can zip it down if you want or zip it all the way up for that super like cute vintagey look so next up we have this cute little mini skirt with like this gray and white checker print i think this would be really cute for a festival if you kind of want to be a little bit more like covered up and comfortable which is personally what i like for festivals i personally don't like wearing like the like bra tops or like just like the glitter everywhere so i kind of wanted to get some pieces that i possibly could wear to future festivals that are a little bit more kind of cute and comfortable in that way this is also a pretty like neutral version of like the checkerboard print that's a little bit easier to wear because it is kind of like that faded gray and white kind of combo it also has a really nice matte black little button there which i think is a really nice touch 
and yeah I think this is a really cute addition where you can kind of like bring in some more interesting prints in a little bit of a more easy to wear way. Next up we have this jacket which I think is so cute. It gives me like those like London UK vibes. I think it's just like the print um, and it's kind of like a not like a rain jacket material. I kind of don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like that plasticky fabric but it's not plastic. I don't know what to call it. I'm hoping that the website has a description of what this fabric is because I don't know what to call it. It's not quite fabric but it's not quite like raincoat material. I don't know. Maybe someone will know in the comments down below. Anyway, it's this really cute like cropped jacket and it has shiny gold buttons on it that are kind of the snap closure buttons and I just thought this would be really cute for winter just to like style the plain outfit add like that pop of print that I'm really loving lately in a very easy to wear way because it's just a jacket and like if you're not feeling it you can just take it off and wrap it around your waist it's kind of more like if it was a bit windy and a little bit chilly this would be warm enough but if it's cold you'd probably have to wear quite a thick jumper underneath if you live somewhere cold but for where I live we don't get very cold here so I can get away with just wearing this in winter but I think it's so cute and such a cute kind of like chic print. Next up we have some overalls and these are in collaboration with Carney I think that's how you say it. It's like the Carney collaboration collection and it's just some red long Where's the leg? Long overalls down here with yellow stitching and it has the like Carney logo there. Black adjustable straps and it also has the logo on the buttons there and a little bit like you can faintly see it on the strap. I just thought that was a really cute like 90s type of vibe, especially the red with the yellow stitching. I love overalls. I have my Tommy Hilfiger overalls that I absolutely love and I really wanted some red overalls to sport so I picked up these because I thought they were super cute. Also on the red kind of denim jumpsuit theme we have this jumpsuit. You're not gonna be able to see it until I try it on but it's basically like a red denim boiler suit with a built-in little belt. It's definitely very bold and very out there but I think you could definitely style it for day to day just with like some sneakers and some cute sunglasses but I've definitely been loving the whole boiler suit trend lately and I love red on me so that's why when I saw this I was like I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Our final item before we move on to the one pair of shoes that I got is the second reflective item in this haul and that is a reflective puffer jacket. I'm gonna put it down because one is throwing the lighting off because obviously as you can see it is a very reflective and also it's really rustling and I don't want it to be too loud and annoying on the audio. So it's just a cropped reflective puffer jacket. You'll see it in the try on obviously. Again it's that kind of dark grey colour when it's not being lit up and then obviously when it's reflecting it's a really like bright white colour which is super cute. I've always wanted one of those reflective puffer jackets. I know IMG does them but they're quite expensive and when I saw this picture of James Charles wearing his I was like yep yeah, I'm gonna have to get that. <laughs> and finally for shoes we have this pair of white cowboy boots. Again I'm gonna put it down in a second because it's throwing the lighting off but it just has like that kind of cowboy western stitching. It's got a zip up the side so it's super easy to get into and a little bit of a heel. I saw Ashley wear her white boohoo western boots on Instagram and I was like that's real cute. I want to get my own. So I saw these on the website and I picked them up. They also have a lot of different colours as well but I thought white was just a little bit more bold and just a little bit more of a statement piece. They feel like a really nice quality fake leather and um, yeah I just think they're super cute and they'll go with a lot of those like bold cute outfits. Anyway that is it for our haul today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favourite piece and which pieces you would like to see me style up on Instagram for you guys. If you did want to follow me on Instagram my handle is Matilda Rogers. I'll just leave it here so you can check it out and obviously down below as well. If you did like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below, it really helps me out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos. I have some super exciting videos coming that I am so excited to release to you guys. Anyway, make sure that you subscribe to stay tuned for these super 
super exciting videos that are coming out. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye!